Well, more local leaders are now calling for a special session focused on crime after the governor amended her gun violence public health order and said she would not call a special session just yet. News 13's Jessica Barron talked to one Albuquerque city councilor behind the effort. When we're talking crime here in Albuquerque, we are one of the most dangerous cities in America. The governor's gun-focused public health order has led to lawsuits and protests over the last week. On Friday, the governor scaled back the order to ban open and conceal carry only in parks and playgrounds in Albuquerque, while also putting an emphasis on drug treatment, saying substance abuse and crime go hand in hand. She also announced she would not call a special session for crime after Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen publicly urged her to. I believe that the legislator leadership dedication here today is an indication that they agree with that sentiment and we can do work right now every day and will. But now Albuquerque City Councilors are weighing in. Councilors Dan Lewis, Brooke Busson, Luis Sanchez, and Renee Grout are introducing a resolution urging the governor to call a special session to specifically address crime. This is about making sure that we do everything we can and we ask our governor for the support that we need so that she can do everything she can to help us while we also take some accountability. In addition to addressing the drug and mental health concerns, the resolution also says a special session is needed to address reforming the pretrial detention system, funding of the warrant program for the next five years, and passing legislation imposing a lifetime sentence for repeat offenders who use firearms. And law enforcement is doing what they can, but it's just not enough to keep us safe. A sentiment Albuquerque police agrees with, tweeting it takes legislative change to hold criminals accountable. Albuquerque can't wait any longer. We have people that go out to family outings and they don't know if they're going to get home safe, and that is completely unacceptable. Jessica Barron, CareQE News 13. All four counselors are also sponsoring another resolution tomorrow. It urges the governor to take no actions that violate constitutional rights and to support the Constitution.